Here we are. You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. Don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom, just past the staircase, and in the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh. And, uh, can you please make me a nice big cup of coffee? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, five sugars, please. Five? Okay. Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? Looks like a frozen carcass. Exactly. And it... Ugh, smells. How can it smell? It's frozen. It smells like a sheep's ass to me. It's probably just Midge. Midge? The sheep that was hanging around the kitchen yesterday. Right. Clearly I have a lot to learn about life on a farm. You'll get used to it quickly. Now go. Run yourself a nice hot bath and leave all those horrible memories behind, yeah? Thanks, Andrea. There. Would you come closer, please? I could be losing my mind, but did I just see a naked lady run past here a minute ago? That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days and... I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to put some clothes on. You know, in case that vicar comes round again. Speaking of clothes, do we have anything we could give her? Well, I... Uh, we don't know much about ladies' garments, dear. It's alright. I can give her some of mine. Wait, I... Uh, I still have some clothes that belong to my wife. It's a skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were her favourite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. You sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penny, uh, always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear, uh, any chance of another sandwich? Well, I waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. Huh. I wonder why. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute.
Hey, Jenny. I found some clothes that should fit you. I'll leave them here on the floor, just outside the bathroom. Thanks. I'll be out in a minute. Well, aren't you a cutie? Living on Vern House Lane, of all places. This doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you. Let's come with me. Meet little Sheila. She's been stuck in this hole for a while. Who's done this to her? A psychopath called Walter Green, who lives in the woods, not far from the farm. Walter likes to trap people, hunt them down like animals. Sometimes just to slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark.
You're awake. What do you mean? I wasn't sleeping. Liar. What's that rose slime you promised us, hmm? Well, where's the wine? You went to get it, and you never came back. I was... Ugh, it's a long story. But now that I think about it, you don't actually need red wine to make rose slime. You just stick the damn thing in the oven. It's that simple. Well, not the way I cook it. And what is your way to cook it? Let me guess. Getting pissed on George's sherry and falling asleep? I guess it's better you never actually started it because you'd probably just burn the whole place down if you did, you drunken fool. Hey! That was George's idea to open that bottle. Whatever. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air, you know? <sighs> You don't want to go to that forest. I mean, this is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees, yeah? Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Do you want a cupcake? Do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a cupcake? In that case... Here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? Late twenties? You mean Jenny? Yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? Uh, the last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. Don't sleep on the sofa with your boots on ever again, understood? I didn't. You snored like a pig? I could feel the house trembling. Again? I wasn't sleeping. I was resting, all right? Also, I didn't take my boots off on purpose. Oh, yeah? I was being thoughtful, and I kept them on because my, my feet don't smell all that nice today. I'm not surprised. That's not my fault. I have a condition. Condition my ass. You're just a dirty man who doesn't like to wash. See you later. And don't do anything stupid. Me? Never! Oh!
I see you've met Jenny. Uh, this lovely young lass wandered in. I offered my chair to her, and she must have been very exhausted, because she just fell asleep before I could even offer her a cup of tea. Do you want me to... No, no, leave her. That's fine. As a matter of fact, I'll go find her a blanket. That's a bit chilly today. Nurse, can I interest you in a little game I've invented? There's prizes to be won. What would I have to do? You uh, ever held a gun? Yes. Well then, I throw some empty bottles up in the air. You try to hit them before they fall. Easy. What do you say? What are the rules? I'll throw five bottles in the air, one at a time. Your job is to shoot them down. You'll win a nice prize if you manage to hit at least three out of five. But there's a special prize if you beat my personal record and hit all five bottles. You want to try? Sure, let's try it. Two out of five. Not bad. Not bad. Do you want to try again? Sure. Let's try it. Nice! You've got it. Three bottles. Very nice. And here's the incredible second prize. What is this? It's a little sheep. Isn't it lovely? I got it at the car boot sale last year. Thanks. It'll look nice on the shelf, I guess. Do you want to try again? Sure, let's try it. Good shot! Yeah! Nice! 
shot. Four bottles. That's my personal record. Sadly, I've only had one sheep. Don't. Do you want to try again? No, thanks. Here, take your gun back. I'm off to the woods. Will I get there if I keep going this way? Well, yes, but uh, you don't really want to go there, nurse. You should leave that for me to decide. Hey, Midge. It's good to see you made it. Hi there. Um, hi? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arno. I'm Angie. What are you doing here? Alone? In the woods? I'm tracking the legendary Walter Green, of course. And these woods 
are his hunting grounds. So I've heard, but why do you track him? It doesn't seem like a very wise thing to do. Only if you aren't familiar with his patterns. But since I've studied Walter and his mythos for a long time, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I will not let him kill me. So, who are you, Arno? Is it okay to ask? Oh, I'm a journalist. From Finland. Finland? That's nice. Why come to England? Well, I've been planning this trip for a long time. These woods have been calling me all this time, reaching out to me like a distant melody. And yesterday morning, when I arrived, I could feel it. I knew that this is my destiny. What is? To become the man who captures Walter Green and proves the legends were all true. That's very bold. Aren't you afraid that he'll stick you up on a tree and pull your skin off? Or... I don't really know what he does. Eat your eyeballs? Chop your head off? Eat my eyeballs? He's a serial killer, not an animal. He... he just mostly grabs and stabs people, multiple times. So, if you ever get near him, what's out for the grab? That would be my advice for you. Right. Good to know. You seem to know a lot about Walter Green. Of course I do. I don't mean to brag, but I'm the world's biggest expert on what they call the Walter Green mythos. I've read every single article ever written on it, including the unpublished blogs and letters. I've lived and breathed these stories for almost six years, and I feel confident to say I know his greatest secret. Something nobody else knows. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling it. It's a secret. But if you want to know more, there's a Walter Green's fan page that I've run for the last three years. It's a lovely community. You should totally join it. Tell you what, if I'm still alive by tomorrow, I totally will. What is this shack? The Satanist Club? Not quite. It used to be a lumberjack's cabin back in the day, but it's been abandoned since 2013. You see... That's when all those grisly murders started to happen in the area. Jeffrey Brand, the lumberjack, was one of the first they found. Where? Here? Here indeed. If you look closely, you can still see his blood on the windowsill. Right. Lovely. And what about all those satanic drawings? Ah, yes. It's widely believed that Walter Green worships the devil. He makes them all over the forest, as well as little shrines to Satan, built with bones and feathers. They usually mark spots where he killed people. I'm looking for a small chapel with a creepy doll pinned to it. Please, I really need to find it. Any chance you saw it? Yes, I think I did. Where was it? I'd have to draw you a map, I think. Because you know, the picture is worth a thousand words. That would be great. Thanks, I'll wait. Actually, 
I was just about to start a fire for the night. It's still early. In these woods, you see, without light comes death. Don't forget, there's a dangerous serial killer lurking nearby. He could be watching us right now. So, while I draw the map, would you mind lighting a fire in the fireplace over there? I would appreciate that very much. Alright, I'll get a fire going for you. Wonderful! Now, see this axe stuck in the wall there? You will need that. The axe? Well, don't mind if I do. Huh? Ugh. 